Hola artists! Today we are going to learn about the one and only Pablo Picasso. And specifically, we are going to take inspiration from his Rose period. Now I'm going to let Annie and Moby um, explain all about Picasso's life, but pay particularly close attention to what they say about his Rose period. Almost done. There, I finished. I know it doesn't look exactly like a guitar. I was inspired by this painting by Pablo Picasso. Who was Pablo Picasso? Pablo Picasso was born in 1881 in Malaga, Spain. When Pablo was growing up, he loved to draw and paint. This was one of his first paintings, which he created when he was nine years old. Pablo went to art schools and spent time studying art in museums. He finished this painting of his sister when he was 15 years old. Later, Picasso started experimenting with colors and shapes and explored collage. Right, Moby. Picasso's art changed over time. A period is a length or span of time. People separate Picasso's works into different periods or spans of time. What was Picasso's blue period like? In 1901, a close friend of Picasso's died. Picasso started painting in shades of blue and gray to communicate his feelings. The subjects of his paintings often look sad or upset. Some are struggling and living on the streets. A theme is an idea or message that is explored in an artwork or a piece of writing. Picasso explored the theme of blindness in a few of his works. They communicate emptiness and sadness and show how Picasso felt about the loss of his friend. Then, Picasso started exploring different themes and colors. What was Picasso's rose period like? Picasso began using brighter colors, such as reds, oranges, and pinks. He painted actors in bright clothing and acrobats, jugglers, and other circus performers. A harlequin is a performer who is often silly and wears a costume with a diamond pattern. The harlequin appears in many of Picasso's works throughout his life. His works from the Rose period are more cheerful and energetic than those from the Blue period. What was Picasso's Cubist period like? Picasso started experimenting in his work. He looked at objects from different angles or points of view. He used his imagination to break them down into shapes. He showed the objects in a totally different way. You can still tell the painting shows a guitar and violin because there are similarities to the real objects. Picasso began exploring this new style of painting which is now called Cubism. He looked at people, places, and things in a new way. He used different colors to get his ideas across. Performers and musical instruments continue to be subjects of his paintings. This painting shows musicians with masks. In 1937, a Spanish town called Guernica was attacked and bombed. Picasso created a painting that showed the violence of war and the loss of lives. The dark colors help communicate the suffering that comes from war. The painting of Guernica traveled the world and raised awareness about what was happening in Spain. Picasso's style kept changing over time, 
he continued to experiment and try different techniques. I love exploring Picasso's paintings because they're so different from each other. Pablo Picasso died in 1973. His works inspired artists around the world and still do so today. You finished a painting inspired by Picasso? Great self-portrait, Moby. Thanks, Annie and Moby. So now we are ready to make our own Pablo Picasso Rose Period inspired flowers. And for this project, you will need a piece of paper, paint, specifically in warm colors like reds, pinks, oranges, even purples actually, black paint, paint brushes, and at the very end you'll need scissors. Alrighty artists, so for our Picasso rose period inspired pieces we are going to be making flowers um, today using the warm colors such as red, pink, orange, and purple that in, um, permeated Picasso's rose period. Um, and I want you to also think about using analogous colors in this piece, which are colors that are located next to each other on the color wheel, okay? Um, but it's not entirely necessary, just something to take your art a step further if that's where you are. And just note that um, this does not need to look anything like mine and honestly shouldn't. I'm gonna give you general steps and I'm gonna demonstrate but yours should look like your own. All right, so we're gonna start out by painting, um, taking just a big old brush and painting um, a large circle shape in the center of our paper. The bigger your paper, the better, but whatever size you have is gonna be perfect. All right, so I think I'm gonna start out with this kind of pinkish color, and I'm just gonna create a big circle in the center of my page. I accidentally have a little black on it from something I was painting earlier, but it's okay, I'll cover it up over time. All right, and I want you to think about how you can shade or tint this color throughout if you'd like, like you could get the tiniest bit of black and really mix it in to create a shade over here. You could get a tiny bit of white and mix it in to tint this side. Um, really experiment with color on this because we want to get various shades and tints of these um, pinks and reds for Picasso's Rose Period. Alrighty, so once you're satisfied with that, the next step is to turn it into a flower. Now you can do this by drawing your traditional petals. I'm gonna actually do it by just drawing a ton of additional circular shapes um, around the outside. And we're gonna cut these out so it doesn't matter really where you wipe your paintbrush. But I think I'm gonna try a magenta next. I'm gonna really go around like this. Pretty choppy. Flowers are not perfect circles. I want this shape to be organic, like a flower. All right, that's coming together for me. And I'm gonna take a little bit of per this magenta into my white, and I'm gonna try to get an even lighter tint of it on the outside over here. And now I'm gonna go for a metallic purple that I have. So I'm really living in the purples here on this one. I've made a few of these, so.
great. Now my white's coming in. It's tinting it. I love that. And yeah, I do really have a lot of purple shades going on here. So I think I'm going to round it out with some hot pink just around the edge. And I'm letting these colors blend because this is a flower. So again, I want it to look organically connected. Now, this shape is really um, evoking a rose for me. Your flower can be any type of flower that you want, but since mine is really reminding me of a rose right now, I'm going to try to think of how I can use, um, you know, those swirls coming out from the center with my black paint. Um, the next step is to add black paint, and I'm going to see if I can try to get it to, s I haven't done this, but I'm going to see if I can try to make a swirl. Yeah, that's basically what I want. So I'm going to keep going like that. And I'm going to add black detail to make this go from essentially a blob of pink and purple into more of a shape of a flower. So you can add some lines around. See the petals really coming together there. So I've got some pretty good petal detail going on. That's looking very rose-like. And the last step I want to do before I cut it out is I want to outline my flower. Just get that out of my way. So again with the black. Now this is going to be very rose-like, so I'm going to try to keep it kind of... what my memory is telling me a rose looks like on the outside. There we go. And the last step is going to be to cut it out, which I will show you at the very end. All right, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna demo, I won't narrate it, but I'm just gonna demo making one more flower that's completely different from my first one, just so you don't get the image of my first one stuck in your head and so that you can truly see the creative possibilities here and use your own creativity rather than just copying mine.
Picasso Rose Period flowers. Here's some additional inspiration if you need it. And the last thing that I will ask of you before you begin is if you could please bring your flower into school either right now or after midwinter recess when we're all back. I would love to put them on display in Epic's lobby, so um, please try to remember that. Okay, have fun artists.